we're gonna get into this little hive right here this comes from a split uh, they came out of winter without a queen and we put some frames in there that had some queen cells in them and it's been I don't know three or four weeks so we should see a mated queen in there ideally with some some eggs or sign of a queen of some sort it doesn't always work out that way but we're gonna find out I'm just gonna sit on the sit on the straw bale here let's put a little smoke under there Ooh, nice a lot of activity in there now remember this hive was queenless three or four weeks ago okay so what's our goal going into this one it is to find the queen or sign of the queen this must have been a honey frame that we put in here before but my goodness look at that look at that pollen in there that nectar just awesome no sign of the queenie if we see a queen she might be a small one so we're gonna have to pay attention sometimes they're they're harder to see when they're new queens they're a little bit faster move a little bit more and um, smaller I see an egg right in the middle I don't know if you can see that or not but I see an egg right in the middle that's a good sign I don't see more than that I see no I do I see two or three eggs okay we got a laying queen in here now we could close up but because I enjoy this so much I'm just gonna keep going because it's fun um, and that does sometimes that is a little bit risky because you risk rolling the queen or doing something and you can annoy the, the hive a little bit but it's just like this is my hobby and so I just it's just fun for me to do but I see some more eggs here so it's all good this looks like one of the hatched queens queen cells or maybe there was never a queen in it Ooh, tons of pollen on there oh my goodness look at all that yeah look at the pollen right there oh my that's some good stuff sometimes it takes them to, a bit to get laying to become highly productive right here you can see that right here is I think we had a queen cell here that was hatched and now it's done very cool new queens are a little more flighty also so we gotta pay attention I've had them fly off of the frames before when they're brand new which we don't want to have happen right there's the hatched queen cell we got a few hatched queen cells over here look at that we've got one right there we got one right there. Survival of the fittest. There's one that survived and she's in here somewhere. This looks like a perfect frame to find eggs on or to find the queen. A lot of empty cells, drawn comb, a lot of nectar in there. Can you see that nectar just the sun reflecting off of it? If I saw the queen, I'd feel a lot better. This is a great frame for eggs also, but don't see any. Not yet. Tons of pollen on there. Nice fresh comb. No eggs in it though. Well, we didn't find the queen, but what we did find were signs of the queen. So there's a queen in there and and I probably saw, I don't know, a dozen eggs, which isn't a ton, but that's not surprising considering she's a brand new queen. So I am, um, I'm encouraged. 
I'm encouraged by by what we saw. I mean, would have loved to have seen the queen just because that's fun, but it's okay. Today on this hive, what I'm what I want to do is they're bringing in so much nectar. I want to make sure they have enough space if I need to take some of the frames down in the in the brood chamber up to one of the supers, then we'll do that. Um, just because I'm worried about them just being honey bound and the queen not being able to lay. Uh, also, I want to treat them with Formic Pro and get that mite treatment started. This hive is just blowing up as it should be. I also want to create an upper entrance because I've got I've got some drones up in here and they're probably dying. Look at there's drones all over here. They're they're dying to get out of here and fly off and go do what they were born to do. All right, let's remove this box and we will get to the second box. Already pretty heavy. All right, here we are in the second box. Looking good. Let's do a little cleanup. All right, that's a pretty heavy frame. You've got nectar, nectar, and they're starting to, to cap it off. Great sign. Yep, that's heavy. Running a, a single brood chamber, one thing that I wanna be mindful of and careful with is to make sure that the super right above the, the brood chamber Ha, always has frames with space in it so that they they're not tempted to fill up the the brood chamber with honey or maybe what I can do is I'll just move this straight up to the top box I won't flip the frames I'll just move this to the top box and move the top box down to here because the top box had more space what do you think about that the bees are noisy. I see a lot of drones flying around. It's probably it's probably my mistake for not having an upper entrance for them because they can't get through the queen excluder. Let's get into the bottom. Drones, just drones everywhere. Drones gone wild. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We're making sure they have space. They were trying to swarm last week, so we're, we're paying attention to that. See if we can figure out how to keep them from swarming. People say that, that the queen gets on the queen excluder, so to check it, but I've never had that. I still check it though. Oh my, these drones are just having a heyday right now everywhere all these bees I don't know if you can see them like all these bees flying right here like the majority are drones just living the life when I put on the Formic Pro on here I'm gonna do two strips because this is a strong hive I don't think I need to worry about about wiping them out Lots and lots of pollen on there. I see a lot of uh, a lot of bees with pollen on their legs. So that's an amazing uh, resource frame. That's not necessarily what I want in the bottom in the bottom box. It's okay, but I don't want too many of them. I want the queen laying. And we got piles of eggs in here. There's a little queen cup right here. Let's check inside of that. Nothing. That's what I like to see. Oh my goodness, there's this bee right here that's got bright red. I don't know if you can see it, but bright red pollen. Where did it go? I'm going to show you that. Um, right there. Can you see that? Oh my goodness, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Man, can you hear that? These bees are going crazy. They're not, they're not aggressive. They're just, I think it's all the drones. I wish I knew where that red, that red pollen came from. That's, that's cool. Pattern's okay, not great. We'll just have to keep an eye on this queen, see how she, see how she does. Ooh, there's a bunch of queen cups. Yeah, there's egg. Egg in one of them. Don't need that. No, no. She's laying, folks. She's laying. Alright, this is a pretty light frame, so I suspect we should find eggs on here. And it is full of eggs. Just completely full of eggs. Let's put all those cells on there just have tons of tons of eggs in them. Oh my goodness, tons of eggs on this one. Sheesh. Just brand new fresh eggs. So many eggs. Oh my goodness. Nice job, Queen. Ooh, there's some some stacked brood right there. I'll take that. Look at that. It's a nice pattern. I'd like to see that. Ow. Dang it. Okay, so we got a lot of brood on this one. looking brood. Now that was on the last frame here which is what you would expect on a single oh there's the queen right there on the very last frame which shouldn't on a single single brood chamber should not be unexpected. Okay and we're gonna apply the two two things of Formic Pro on here you try to stay upwind from this stuff because it's nasty you don't want to inhale it if you can avoid it it has a sour smell the bees are going to hate it watch what happens when you put this on they just flee and they won't even like being in the hive Well, it's there. I'm just going to move these OA strips kind of in the corner. Let them sit there for a, a week while these do their thing. Now remember, I'm going to put the top super as the, as the lower super because it has more space. But we want the super right above the brood chamber to have a lot of space. I'm putting an entrance between the first and second supers. Can you see that right there? I'm putting an entrance there because we need to let those drones out and I think it'll help the other bees as well. Certainly there are other benefits like ventilation, but that's the, that's the main benefit I'm trying to get. Um, with the strong hive, they can protect it, so I'm not worried about it. I might close it a little bit, might be a little too big, but they can protect it. Um, it does take more resources for them to do that. There are some people think that's a bad idea, and that's okay. Look immediately how the, the bees are bearding outside. They just don't like that Formic Pro, which I don't blame them. It's got a sour smell. And then there's a good view of the of the entrance. You can see the bees coming out of it. They'll love it. I was going through my other hive and I just had to show you, man, look at this frame. Woo! They're blowing up right now. Look at 
this little bee coming out of her cell. Look at that, just working to come out. Cool. Look at this frame, by the way. Oh my goodness! Look at this bee with the bright orange pollen on her legs. So cool. Look at this bee right here doing the waggle dance. You see her? The other bees watching. What she's doing is she's telling the other bees where to go to find the flowers, find the nectar, find the pollen. And they know, and that's how they communicate. And there is the beautiful queen right there just golden brown looking good doing her thing she's doing a great job couldn't resist one more frame of beautiful beautiful brood